Hi everyone, this is Todd Welch from TC Text Computers, and today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Defragler to organize your computer and speed it up from organizing the files and things that you have stored on your computer. So the first thing we have to do is download the program, and we can do that, open up your browser, whichever one you choose to use, and you have a couple ways to get there. I've created a special URL for you guys. If you go to tctext.com slash defrag, that will take you right to where we want to go. Otherwise, you can open up your favorite search engine. I use DuckDuckGo. It's a privacy search engine. It doesn't track what you do. And I can type defragler into there. And it's going to bring up the website for defragler, one of the top links that you'll see by a company called Peer Reform. We'll click on that and it's going to take you to the page for Defragler with a couple buttons, download or buy now. And you can get a free version just by downloading or you can buy the paid version which allows you to automate the process so you don't have to sit there and do it manually. It'll do it in the background uh, however you schedule it to be done. Uh, for today, though, we're going to download the free one so I can show you how the program is going to work. We'll click on the download button, and again, they're going to try to get you to upgrade to the professional, which is your preference, whichever you choose. I'm going to download from filehippo.com and download the latest version of this program. And shortly here, our download should start. And there's our download. I'm going to save that file. And depending on how quick your internet is, depends on how long it's going to take to download. Download is done for me. And I'm going to click on that to run it. Say yes if you get a security pop-up. And here is the Defragler setup program. So we can next through this, and as I say in all my videos when showing you how to use software, always pay attention to these check marks. Make sure you know exactly what the program is doing, because some programs will try to install uh, junk software on your computer that will pop up ads and do other things that you may not want uh, to be doing. And the reason they do that is that's how they make some money from you installing their potentially free program. Um, Peer Reform does not add that kind of thing to their software, so we don't have to worry about it with them. But in any case, I'm always going to click Advanced because I never know when they're going to change their tune and maybe stick something in here that I don't want. Uh, we're going to install for anyone on this computer. Click Next. We'll leave the the default destination folder. Click Next again. I'm going to leave these all checked because I do want all of those and click n Install. <coughs> and the install will only take a second here. It's a pretty small program. should go pretty quick. I'm going to uncheck View Release Notes and leave Run Defragler which will launch Defragler for us right away. All right, and I have it maximized here. If it's not already, you can always maximize it so you can see everything on the screen. Um, you can slide these bars up and down so you can see more information if anything is being covered there. Now, this is the main screen in Defragler. Up top here is it's showing your hard drive, um, how much capacity you have, how much is being used, how much free space you have, and fragmentation and the status. Now our fragmentation is unknown because we haven't checked this drive yet, um, but it is ready to be checked. Now down below here we have some options. Um, it's showing our drive. Right now it's saying there's a good status for our C drive, which is our main drive for the computer. And this is the main screen that you're going to want to stay on. There's some other tabs here that you can click on, um, but you don't really have to worry about those too much, uh, at least not at the moment here. We'll just go through the basics and stick to the main screen. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is 
analyze this drive. And what that is going to do is determine how defragmented your hard drive is. And basically what defragmentation is, or defragging, um, is when you're using your hard drive as you install and uninstall programs, save files, delete files, they get placed all over on your hard drive in little chunks. Uh, the hard drive stores things in small chunks, not one big file size as it looks like uh, when you're downloading it. So those little pieces can get scattered all over the hard drive. And in a normal hard drive, there is an arm in there that has to go back and forth and find those pieces. And when they're scattered all over, you take more time to find those files. So what defragging is going to do is put all those pieces in order so the hard drive can more quickly access them. So if we hit analyze here, it's going to start going through and checking the hard drive. It shouldn't take too long. It all depends on how big of a hard drive you have. I have a one terabyte hard drive, so it's going to take a little longer than maybe what your hard drive will do if you have a smaller hard drive. So we'll wait for that analyzing to complete. Okay, and now our analyzing is done of our hard drive, and it's going to give you the information here. So it looks like I have 3,142 fragmented files for a total of 6.9 gigabytes of data that is fragmented, which means it's scattered around my hard drive total fragments, so these 3,142 files are broken up currently into one, one uh, excuse me, 13,570 total fragments. So that gives my hard drive a total fragmentation of 7%. So of all the files on my hard drive, 7% of them are fragmented. Now your fragmentation could vary depending on when the last time is you've defragged it or if you've ever defragged it could be quite high. The higher this number the slower your hard drive is going to work and the longer it's going to take to access files on your hard drive. So now what we want to do is we can click view files if you want to see what kind of files are fragmented um, but it's not necessary to look through that necessarily. There's going to be a lot of things here that might not make a lot of sense to you. So stick on this main tab and click on the defrag button down here at the bottom. And this is going to go through and put all those files that are fragmented in order so that the hard drive can access them much more quickly. So we'll give it some time here and let it go through the defragmentation process, which can take quite a while if your hard drive is quite fragmented. Um, we're talking anywhere from uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes to hours if your hard drive is very fragmented. Okay, and boom, the defrag is done and the hard drive is completely defragmented. Well, actually not completely. Um, if you look at this here, this is our analyst's results. This is, was our results before we started the scan. You may notice that it was different than when I started this video because I did get a restart in between when some Windows updates popped up on me. Um, and here down here is our current state. So this is what it was able to get us down to. Um, now you notice it's not able to get everything. And the reason why is there are some files that for whatever reason, these ones that are red up here, uh, could not be moved. So if you click on this block, you can actually see the ones that could not be moved. Why they couldn't be moved, there's lots of different reasons. Maybe they're a system file or something is required or they're currently in use so they can't be moved. Um, but going from 12 to 9, it's not a lot. We're not going to see a big difference. But if your computer has not been defragged in quite a while, you might have a much bigger number here at the beginning and a much smaller number here at the end. And it's definitely going to help you uh, and your computer run faster and run smoother. So those are the basics of Piriform's defragler. 
pretty easy program to use but definitely helpful the manual version the free version is going to be run manually or you can purchase the full version and that you can schedule times for it to run in the background so you don't have to worry about it you set it once and forget it we'll go over real quick again that URL that you can get the program at is tctext.com slash defrag or you can search for defragler on your favorite search engine and it's going to be one of the first websites that you can click on and download that program or buy it if you choose. So one last time this is Todd Welch with TC Techs Computers and happy computing.